Hi, I'm Chris Sims, Chief Community Architect with First Integrity Mortgage. Hi, I'm Tom Lubieski, Community Ambassador, as well as a senior mortgage banker with First Integrity Mortgage Services. All right, Tom, we hear this back and forth all the time, right? It's in the news cycle. Property values are going to go down. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to be in a crash again. Yeah. 2008 is going right. to happen all over. All over again. Yep, yep. Tom, yep. what's different this time from 2008? <sighs> well, there's a lot that's different than yeah. 2008. True story. 2008 was a crazy time, you know, and I've never seen anything like it until, until COVID happened. Right. Right. And it got crazy and everyone wanted to buy a house and um, everyone was getting approved because their mortgage interest rates, not, not everyone was getting approved. Back in 2008, everyone was getting approved. That is a true story. <laughs> because stated income. Um, but what I see now is a listing shortage. Right. There's, we have we have way more people that qualify than we have properties available, right? Yeah. I, I think a, a normal um a normal market, they there'd be about thirty days. Yeah, thirty uh, to sixty days of inventory. Of inventory. That's right. And right now we got about what one to two months. Yeah, in a normal market would have sixty to ninety days of of inventory in it, right? And then today we're sitting on less than one month's worth of inventory. It's crazy, right? Yeah. So when you think about home values are going to just drop, well, the problem is, is that there's too many buyers that are out in the marketplace, which isn't a bad thing. Supply and demand. Completely. It is still supply and demand. And as we've seen, even though we have some recessionary uh, marks in the market, yeah. right? Some triggers. Right. We're still not in a true recession by definition. Yeah. But even when we're in a recession, Chris, you know, uh, real estate still stays strong. That, if, that's a true story as well. If you look at every single recession, uh, besides 2008, 2008 right. was an anomaly, right? Um, if you ever want to learn about 2008, right, watch The Big Short. It'll tell it's you a great everything. movie. Yes. Uh, but it'll tell you pretty much everything that happened back then. Um, and it was crazy. But now with a listing shortage, supply and demand is going to keep prices where they are. Completely agree. I think we might see things level out a little bit or flatten maybe for a yeah, little bit. maybe. But I don't think we're going to see any of the declines, especially here in the Midwest. You Your know coastal what? states might have some issues. But. And that might be a good thing. Oh, agree. You know, if, if, if not that the market goes down, but if we flatten this market out, maybe maybe those first-time homebuyers can actually buy their first good time point. their first home. That right. has been a difficult market, right? Yeah. I mean, over the last couple of years, it's, you know, FHA, uh, first time home buyers, VA buyers have had a very difficult time because there's multiple offers on every single property because of the inventory shortage. Right. Um, multiple offers on everything. So you've got these first time home buyers that are, you know, trying to uh, buy their first home with not much money, like we right. talked about earlier. Um, and then you've got 12 cash offers, 12 conventional offers, couple VA offers, you know, what are there, there wasn't any room for these first time home buyers to, to actually get into a property. And now the, the prices are so high, you know, you, you and I, our starter homes, right? Right. My starter home, I paid $85,000 for it. Right. And another thing I'd like to talk about too is, you know, what happens <clears throat> when interest rates go down, right? Interest rates are high right now. Right. I've refinanced my homes. I've owned three homes. Right. I've refinanced each of them about four or five times. Yeah. When interest rates, you know, when I first bought my first house, it was, it was an MHDC loan. I, right. I didn't have any money. And I think I was at seven and a half percent. And that's just what interest rates were. Just right. Just like they are now. Right. That's, this is what interest rates are. Um, but then, you know, within a, within a year or so, the interest rates went down to five. I refinanced. Uh, we bought a, we bought a new house at four and then they went down to three. And right. We refinanced again and then they went, then we bought another house and it was up at four again. And then, it, and then it, COVID happened, it went down to the twos. So we refinanced again. People need to realize that 
the interest rates are what they are. Right. We're not, we're not into the COVID discount anymore. No, that's a true story. We're not. Right? That's, that's what I saw interest rates, the government buying mortgage backed securities. It was, it was crazy, but they were trying to keep the market going. And now people expect to get 2%. Yeah. And, and it's just, it's just, uh, it's just not going to happen. True story. I don't know if we'll ever see interest rates that low again. Probably not, unless there's a major catastrophe again, yeah, right? Yeah, World War Three maybe, right. but um, you know, besides that, hopefully not. But um, th that's those are the things that affects interest rates, right? Right. You know, it's not it's it's not the inventory. It's not um, really the the Fed has a a, a, a grip on it, right? But <clears throat> really, the natural disasters. Um, Brexit, all of these sorts of things are what affects interest rates. True. 